Well, efforts to improve buses arriving at regular intervals have so far shown encouraging results. Data from the Land Transport Authority showed commuters waiting between 6 and 42 seconds less for services involved in the trials, but waiting times for some feeder services increased. The two-year trial of the bus service reliability framework was introduced in February this year. The aim to reduce bus bunching where multiple buses arrive at the same time and to reduce waiting times. Bus regularity is assessed by excess wait time or EWT, the additional waiting time experienced by commuters compared to the scheduled waiting time. Seven SMRT bus services were involved in the trial with some success. For example, service 176, which plies between Bukit Panjang and Bukit Mera, saw an improvement in EWT of 6 and 18 seconds. Commuters acknowledge the improvements. We find 176, it comes very often. You know, we old people, we may no need to wait for too long. This bus is very fast to reach my uh, place where I stay. One transport analyst attributed the improvements in travel speed to better coordination between the operations control centre and bus drivers. What you need is someone to look at each bus, how far they're spread apart, are they bunching and so on. So I think what's happening now is that probably there are people in the control centre paying attention to these things and advising the bus driver either to, to speed up, slow down. However, some feeder services had mixed results. For instance, service 302, which runs around Chua Chu Kang, saw EWT increased between 6 and 18 seconds. Sometimes you wait very long for it and then suddenly two bus will come together. On rainy days, it can be quite a bit late, but um, and sometimes it gets a little bit crowded and some uh, elderly might not have a seat to sit. For SBS Transit, which joined the trials later, eight services achieved improvements across the board. Starting this month, operators will be given incentives when EWT standards are met and penalised if it deteriorates. Depending on the fleet size, the bonus range between $2,000 and $6,000. From next Monday, another seven bus services will be included in the bus service reliability framework. This brings the total number of participating bus services to 22 in the two-year trial.